Hey guys, it's Alex here from alexfergus.com and look what just turned up. My new, my new Juve Go. This is the new Juve uh, red light portable device that I've been uh, eagerly looking forward to. Um, you may have seen my pre preview video which I posted a few weeks ago uh, which was going through what, what we knew about this device and um, now I finally got it. So I'm going to open it up with you. I'm going to unbox it. We're going to do a quick setup. Have a look at it, I'll test the EMF levels, have a play around with it, talk about pricing, and um, see what this device is really like, and, and whether it's worth uh, getting one yourself. It is expensive um, when it comes to a per LED cost point of view. I mean, this is $295 for this handheld device, whereas you can spend, you know, like three times that and get a huge panel. But the cool thing is, this is battery powered and uh, portable, which the other devices aren't. So I mean, it's going to be great for traveling. So let's open this up. All right, so here's the box. So I've got the red light one. Uh, you see at the top there, you go red. You can also get the near infrared one. Unfortunately, they don't have a combo de device like their full panels do. So what do we got here? User manual with your standard. Instructions, carry case, that is very cool, so there's nothing else in that box. It's really nice carry case actually. Cool, I'm excited for this. There it is. Wow, it is quite look little. So this is the first time, as you can probably tell, that I've seen this device in person. It's, it's so small. It's very cool because I was worried that it would be chunky, you know, like quite big and you wouldn't really use it as traveling. But I mean, there's a bit of weight to it. It's still got the same juve like metal casing. It even looks like there might be a fan in there, which is pretty impressive. Um, it's a bit thicker than I would have liked. Uh, how thick is it? Three on oh no, a dimensions. I've got 3.75 by 5.75, but that will be the front across and, and down. Um, but that's, you know, one and a bit inches. I don't know. I don't know inches. I'm in metric, but uh, I'll get a ruler out. But I mean, it is a little bit thicker. You can see it in my hands here. Um, still though, metal, metal case. So you, it's got a solid feel to it. Um, how many LEDs we got there? Three, six, 12 LEDs. Um, what else we got here? So you got Juve Go Red. Uh, a few bits and pieces on the back. I guess that's for the Bluetooth that Mac address there. Um, PowerPoint at the top and a charging unit for the supplied USB what the other new USB is it USB-C um, plugs that go in there. That's cool and a little battery oh sorry and a little charging adapter uh, so I'll have to get a travel adapter because I'm in New Zealand but that's cool I mean you could use any USB plug anyway. So now let's turn it on. I don't know if it's going to work now because I haven't charged it that's no, not, unfortunately not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge this up and um, have a play with it. All right, so you should really read the instructions before uh, diving straight into a new gadget. Turns out um, there is a bit of charge here. You just have to hold down the power button. So I was just reading it. Uh, it states in the instruction manual that it takes three hours to fully charge the battery. Um, but you can see the charge by pressing the button once. You'll see those three LEDs there. I don't know if you can see that. But it blinks once, so that means, you know, it's one third percent, one third uh, charge, battery charge. Anyway, and then um, you hold the power down for two seconds to start it up. So uh, it's pretty cool. Here it goes. So there we go. Portable red light. How cool is that? So, I mean, you can see the size wise, you know, if you're traveling or if you're sitting down watching television at the end of the night and you want to spot target an area like my gums, um, I don't know, maybe a sore wrist from playing golf or in the garden, um, some sunburn, which is, I reckon, the best thing. Because I'm going to travel, uh, I'll, I'll travel with this, especially over summertime, when you get a little bit of sunburn, you know, I used to always think, oh, I really want my full panels, but of course it's not practical to take a whole panel. The uh, instructions say, once you turn it on, because there's no timer on this, like the new panels, if you haven't seen my new generation 2 uh, Juve review, um, check that out on YouTube. Um, 
they those big panels have a built-in timer this has no timer which i guess the first generation ones didn't either but it just had a clip-on timer that came with it this uh instead runs for 10 minutes okay so you just turn it on and it'll run for 10 minutes which like you say in the instruction is instruction manual is what they recommend for target treatments and they also recommend your two to six inch um distance just like the big panels so um yeah and, and as you notice this is pure red and all the lights are going uh sometimes people think oh only half of them are going that's because the other panels i've used they use um near infrared which are uh, invisible to the human eye but this is all 660 nanometer light okay you can also get the near infrared one which is your 850 nanometer um and if you turn that on you're not going to see anything so this actually works better from a video point of view uh, it would be cool if they had the combo one because there are benefits to both 660 and 850 i've written extensively on this topic at alexfergus.com just google alex fergus uh red light and you'll see a bunch of articles on it and you'll see what's what's good and what's you know best for certain um treatment protocols and everything um so yeah that would be cool but you know i mean you can't have it all this is still a pretty neat gadget all right, so I'm back with my Cornet Electro Smog Meter and my new Juve Go, brand spanking new. So um, if you've watched my other videos, you'll see all the tests I do with this. I'll try to keep this short. Uh, pretty much I'm just going to see the low frequency output and I'll test the electromagnetic field as well, the um, electrical field. That should be pretty low because there's no power coming into this. But anyway, we'll, we'll test it. Um, no power is in. I mean, it's not connected to the wall. Alright, so uh, you're probably not going to be able to see all this, but um, you know what, I'm just going to check it myself and I'll tell you what comes up. So at the moment it's in the green arm, uh, roughly a couple inches off, uh, so it's 0 0.03 uh, micro Teslas, so gonna, which is great, it's in the green zone. So I just turned it on and uh, I need to get my ruler, but anyway. Right now it's jumped up to 0.07. I'll see if I can hold this. Which is bouncing between green and yellow. Uh, okay, so let's see this on the screen. There we go. So that, that was the reading I was getting from that distance. Whatever that distance was, because I don't have my ruler here. Which is, which is fine. Uh, I'm not worried about that reading. Because it's still in the green. It's kind of bouncing green and yellow. And there's three yellow readings, so it's, it's on the bottom. It's, you might be able to see it from there. And then as I go further away, it sort of drops down. If I go right next to it, um, you're not going to be able to see, and nor can I. But it is a little bit higher as you get closer. Okay, so if I put it right next to the meter, yeah, we're, we're up in yellow, yellow, red, bounce between yellow, red, 0.85. Okay, so I guess what I'm saying is if you've got this, you shouldn't do that. Even though I just did. I mean, don't do that for long, long periods. And you don't need to. These LEDs are such high powered that you don't need that close proximity. All you're doing is getting a higher dosage. Um, take it, a, take it a few inches away. I think they say six inches, which is way out here. I mean, it's probably going to be more annoying holding it out here. But you know, prop it up on something, and you're good to go. Um, and you know, you've got no uh, issues with the EMF. So I'll quickly test the other readings. Microfield. Uh, there's nothing, um, which I didn't expect. And then the E field, yeah, it's rock bottom, even right down there. The sensor's at the top, so you can see that. Hopefully, you can see that. That was the reading, I've just froze it. So, that was when it was right on there because the sensor's at the top. So, yeah, no, no issues there, which is great. Um, it's just that low field frequency. So, again, if you're getting this, especially around the head, genitals, reproduction reproductive organs don't put it right up against it i know it's tempting to but you really don't need to with the power output on here so just hold it a few inches out um cool hey so it's been uh 24 hours since those last videos i was recording um which means i've charged this for uh, it's said three hours but i charged it for about five hours so it was well and truly fully charged and then i tested how many uh 10 minute runs i could get out of it now, um, I got six going good, and then seven and eight, I left running, but I walked out of the room and came back, you know, 20 minutes later. Um, so I don't know if they were doing the whole 10 minutes, uh, but I know for a fact we got six, 
and um, like if I turn it on, it'll still turn on now, but in a few minutes it cuts out. So I'm going to say, you know, six, maybe seven, we'll, we'll, we'll meet in the middle, seven, um, ten minute rounds. So that's over an hour of use on one charge, one three hour charge, which is, which is pretty good um, for a device this size. And um, I'm just trying to turn it off now. Uh, I just noticed that blue light is blinking. I wonder if that means it's getting low charge. Anyway, um, I mean, that's pretty good. An hour charge for a device this big or this small, that means you can go away for a weekend and you know you don't have to pack your charger, which again, this is USB-C, so like, you know, most devices these days have this charge. You've probably got a charger for one of your other gadgets. I know my Aura Ring here, for instance, uses the same plug, so I can just take that cable. But the good thing is like, if you don't need to take the cable, it's one less thing to travel with, right? So um, knowing you can get an hour use out of it, I think that's great. Obviously, if you're going away for a week or so, you'd pack the charger. If you're just ducking away for the night, you don't need to uh, charge it. And my concern was like, you'd only get two runs out of it and you'll always be attached to the cable, which uh, is not the case. So that's great. Um, it's been 24 hours since I opened it yesterday. So I've used it uh, quite a few times now. So a few other bits and pieces in terms of feedback. The fan, um, it's not as loud obviously as the big panels, obviously it's only one or maybe two fans in there, but it is quite loud, you know, we, I was watching some telly last night, watching a documentary and had this running and it is like, you do notice it, um, not a big issue, but you know, it's not super silent, um, it is kind of heavy, I mean it is small, like it's palm size, right, but there's a bit of weight to it, uh, you know, if you're traveling on a plane or something, it's going to eat into your, um, cabin allowance uh, from a weight point of view. It's probably the size of a dense or weight of a dense book, uh, like a hardback book, maybe even a little bit heavier. Um, what else? Uh, it is bright, just like the uh, the other panels, the other Juve panels, uh, which is good. Um, battery life, I mean, it's, it's great. I'm happy with that. Uh, oh, and the other thing I thought of last night when I was using it just on my jaw and uh, a few little odd spots, I've got some cuts and stuff on my feet and I was just sort of sitting it there. And because of the EMF testing, you know, right up close, it's it's in the red zone, in the dangerous zone. Um, because of that, obviously, I'm, I'm holding it away a little bit from my body. But I thought to myself, I was like, you know, it would be so much easier if I could put it right up against the body and not be concerned about that. And I know some people aren't concerned about that, but you know, each their own. I, I know I am concerned about it. So, um, I was like, oh, it's a shame that I can't just sit there because it's, it's a bit weird holding it out there for a couple of minutes. You know, it's, it just gets a bit annoying. Um, and I thought to myself, I wonder if it's the fans that are creating a lot of that uh, EMF field. And then I got thinking, I was like, you know what? I know these are really high powered um, LEDs and hence why there's uh, the fans there in the metal case and it's such a solid unit. Like seriously, you'll be impressed with the design quality and the, the feel when, once you get this in your hand. But I thought to myself, I was like, you know what, maybe they could have got lower power lights, got rid of the fan, um, made sure like from an EMF point of view, it was perfect. And then you could have something lighter, something that would probably have a bit more battery life because you don't have to charge the fans. So I'm sure that's minimal battery use. Um, and sure it would be a little less powered, but then you could put it right on the target spot and, um, and not be concerned about the EMF level. I don't know, it was just a thought I had last night. Um, and of course the uh, other positives of that is you get a, you'd get a smaller slimmer unit, um, probably lighter as well. Um, maybe even better battery because the LEDs aren't as powerful. So anyway, that was just, I guess, a thought I had, um, some feedback I thought I'd mention. Um, but it is a cool device. I showed it to my wife who has used, well, uses all my Juve products and, um, and she was like, oh, it's, it's very cute. <laughs> and I guess it is, especially when you see it next to the big panels. Um, all right, so I'm here in my little uh, red light corner in my office. And uh, on this side, I have the Juve Max, the legacy device, the first gen. Here I have the Juve Solar, I think it was called, the first gen. And here I've got the new Juve, the Generation 2. If you don't know much about them, check out my other video on, on YouTube. Uh, or if you're at alexfergus.com, check out my Juve reviews there. Because I have reviewed these in detail. Um, so, now we have the Juve Go. And you can see, from a size point of view, it is very different. I mean, there's two panels here. Uh, let's see if I can get the whole thing on. 
So you can see how much smaller it is, right? Um, you'll notice the LEDs are slightly, a little bit more compressed. Uh, so if we go three by four, it's, that's three by four. It'd actually be a bigger device. I mean, so that's squished in a little bit. I'm assuming that the same LEDs with the same treatment area, or like angle and everything. Um, thickness wise, it's a lot slimmer, uh, but still reasonably thick. So yeah, that's the big one, little one, obviously no wires. Uh, and here I've got a handheld, uh, this is 850 and 660 nanometer, same as this, but this is wide. Uh, this is similar to the Red Light Man uh, product, which I have been using for spot treatments. Um, but of course, you've got to plug it in, which is annoying, you know, because I used to use that in the evenings, but you're running extension cords through the living area and everything. So now I'm going to be using this. So that's the Juve Go Red. Um, I hope that gave you a bit of insight. Uh, again, I've only had this for 24 hours now, so these are my first impressions. What I'm going to do is a detailed review over at alexfigures.com, like a written review. So subscribe to my newsletter because you'll be the first to hear about that when that goes out. Check out my other reviews on the other Juve panels if you still don't know why. I'm obsessed or spending so much time talking about red light. Um, check out my article, The Fascinating Properties of Red Light Therapy, or something to that effect, because uh, I go into a lot of detail. And I've also got an article, Everything You Need to Know About Red Light Therapy. So check those out. Finally, should you buy this? Is it worth it? $2.95, it is a lot of money, all right? Uh, it's, it's an expensive unit, especially when you compare these bigger units, you know, and you get a lot more LEDs. Um, but you're not buying it, I, I guess from a per LED price point, yeah, this is very expensive. I mean, the bigger you go, the, the more value you're getting. However, you're paying a premium for the convenience and for the portability factor, and obviously the batteries and all that that's gone into this. You, if you're looking for the best panel, you know, you go get something like this, go get the Juve Duo, um, you know, spend a thousand, two thousand dollars and do it properly and you'll be set you're not going to want to treat the whole body with this, right? It's just going to take you forever to get all the target spots. This is an add-on, you know, once you are convinced and you have experienced red light and, and you're aware of the benefits, this is an add-on for travelers, for people who, like me, want to sit at, and watch a documentary and hit target spots. Um, for athletes, maybe, you know, maybe if you've got a whole day tournament or a two-day tournament, um, you know, you can hit certain areas in between sets, games, whatever. Um, it'd be great for that. Um, for people who, you know, get sunburned quite a bit. You know, imagine you go to the beach and you can just hit yourself on the way home, you know, with red light. And, uh, honestly, because I love red light for, for sunburn. Um, so yeah, I mean, again, it's not for everyone, but there will be a big appeal for this. Uh, I know a lot of people will, will love it. $2.95, if you're getting into the red light market, to be honest, spend a little bit more money, get a panel, all right? Especially there's new Juve panels which are modular so you can clip them together and expand. Um, I wouldn't really start out, I wouldn't recommend starting out with this. Start with something proper and, and get the full treatment. Um, so on that note, use code Alex, A-L-E-X, when you are buying, buying one of these or any other Juve product and you will get some free goodies. I do get a cutback if you do that. So if you don't want to support me, don't use that code and don't get the gifts, all good. Um, yeah, uh, I should also mention I was sent this unit to review, um, but I mean, to be honest, I would have bought it anyway, so yeah, take that. I, I just want to be straight up there. Uh, and if you have any other questions or comments, or if you want me to cover something, uh, let me know because I will be doing a big review on this on my website. So let me know soon so I can work that into my big review. Uh, if you have one and you have your own feedback, leave the comments below. Um, anyway, I think that's it. Check out my other videos. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe. If you're on my website, give me a thumbs up. No, do that on YouTube as well. You know the drill. See ya.